it, I mean, it works very well, but those are some alternatives if you do not have that kind of mechanism. Yeah, redirects are kind of falling out of style, right? But one thing you can tell us is that I think they've really pioneered the, the redirect mechanism, right? That we're doing so robots here. All right, so today we have episode six of the Robo Ratings, and we're joined by Jahan from 1629X, Leo, Baba Tunde from 1082R, and Matt from 2654E. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First up, we have a video from Adam, Tuzman V. It's their Mall 16 Auto. What do we think? It scored all the rings. It is, is it good. is this for all the rings. I like how they're able to use their in their lift mechanism to actually grab the the second and fourth ring on that stack, right? That makes it very that means they don't have they don't have to have as many mechanisms, right? They don't need to have a close sorting at least for this. Well, I've seen a lot of teams do the second ring with just a pre-roller lifter. Yeah. And you could probably get away with using the uh, Gold Rush Mech Doinker thing to get the top ring off. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that, that how they did it was, it, I mean, it works very well, but those are some alternatives if you do not have that kind of mechanism. Yeah, I feel like this robot, I mean, of course, this isn't. This was an early ro season robot, right? So, extremely, extremely good for early season, and extremely impressive. However, we are in late September now, early October, so I'm going to give this an A tier, just because of, like, their clamp. Their clamp, I've noticed, got bent in some of the tournaments they went to, right? And it, oh, even also, teams who have, you know, taken a lot of inspiration from this design, such as 1095R, I think their, their clamp also got kind of bent in the comp, uh, competition that they went to. What do you guys think? Yeah, I would agree. I would give this an A tier too, because with the full goal, you can just go straight to the positive corner then. Yeah, I'm going to give this an A tier as well, but I think that in the future, since this is an Elims auto, they should adapt it. So instead of touching the bar, it goes and positions itself for a good shot at the positive corner just to get there even faster. Yeah. You know, actually, something about this auto is that since it since it goes to that positive corner, since like they have a doinker now, right? If they had something, an auto that's very similar to this, right? They can even clear that corner out and just put that goal in the corner at the start of the match, and that gives them so much of an advantage because then both of the robots can really focus on, you know, trying to make an early early game play, right? Yeah, but also something I would say is. Um... Instead of focusing on filling up a full goal, you get Multiple just as goal, many. Yes. You you get just as many points from putting one ring on each goal as you wait. Not true. Wait. <laughs> two <laughs> rings putting, with one two top rings. Yeah. Just you you can get more points for less rings. Yeah. So just, just top ring control. Um, okay. And once you have top ring control, then scoring a full goal would get will like get you the most points. Anyways. This is an A tier. We're going on to the next one. Yes. 57249C. We have a a solo win point from a low for a loco. You know, with a color sorting as well. So yeah, we're gonna see that in play. Looks pretty nice. I think I mean there's some wait time between. Looks like PID, but ain't nothing wrong with that. And we're gonna see their color sorting in play there. I like that. I like that. Very safe, right? Color sorting makes it so that there's no really way, there's no really any you know, chance where you'll score an opponent ring and give the opponents a top ring and, you know, just put yourself in a huge disadvantage. And, I mean, you see right there, their auto was a lot simpler and it only scored one less point than yeah. Ace's auto. Yeah, so, and Ace's auto, I've seen that, I've seen them score, like, opponent rings quite often, actually. Yeah, because they don't have that color sword. I'm going to this in A tier as well. Very nice. You know, this is really all you need for for locals, especially for win points and stuff. So, very, very cool. unless you're in California, then you need a lot more. Yeah, I think Jahan probably. Jahan, is your team from, is your team Cali? Yeah, so Cal. Yeah, maybe you can tell us a little bit, a bit about that. Yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So SoCal Vex is is very hard. We have one event called Clash in the Canyon that is basically harder than a lot of the early season SIGs just because of the teams that are going there. And we also have a lot of events, so there is a lot of chances to go for dates, which is a three-day event. But we are able to get three day like event. a lot of very, very hard events. Yeah, yeah, and I know that that's such a big advantage, especially for late seasons such as Worlds, because you guys have so much more practice. 
I remember like uh, looking at Barkbots earlier in the season, right? They won Mall and they went straight back to Cali and they went to a scrim or like a tournament, right? And that was, I just thought it was insane because like, especially in, even Texas, Texas is not like super, like, Texas is pretty competitive, but of course it doesn't come close to like China and, and Cali. And we have maybe tournaments every, every weekend or every two weekends, right? And I think Cali having multiple tournaments every weekend is just insane. But also, they they set up scrims every single week, and we do not. Oh yeah, like the top teams. Yeah. Anyways, also, back to the robot know. though. This robot, I think, I'm gonna give it a B tier. It looks very consistent. However, the actual intake, like the hook portion, is a little slow. I think they can speed that up, right? And also, at this point of the season, right? I think redirect was, of course, a very simple and effective early season build but we're coming up on like october and we're going to be in november soon right so that we're going to we're entering mid-season and i just feel like the redirects are a little like too inconsistent and unsafe because it sticks out so far there's so much defense right now with the positive corners being so overpowered so it's not a super safe build as of right now because your mech is going to get absolutely destroyed I'd agree yeah. with that. I would also give it B tier. I feel like the top stage could be a little faster. Yeah, I've seen a lot of teams go to like 450 RPM. I think that'd be a safe uh, RPM to try out to see if it would work. Very nice, yeah. And we have 1082E, another S Lovejoy T team. Same as the team, uh, sister team of Baba Tunde. F tier. F tier? No, S tier. It's a, a different Lovejoy team that's F tier. So, oh, really? the intake works very well, I can yes. tell. It works very amazing. Consistent. I would say I would give this A tier because they have really nice polycarb and it works very yeah, well. It's built, okay. It looks like, like it's look built closely. very light. Look where the intake is pointed at you. Are like, there bearings on the outside of the On the, the ramp, they have their team number. Therefore, it's an S tier. Mm. I would agree with Liam on this one. It, it is an A tier. That's, no, it's not what <laughs> I would agree with Liam too. This is also an A tier. No. All right, that's enough speaking for Liam. And we oh. have Jean from 32, 38 R. Oh, Baba Tunde, sorry. And this is a nice robot. I especially like the the photos. Actually, the photos with some depth of field on the first one. I like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. And they got a mm. they got a very nice. You know, I was earlier just a couple minutes ago. I was saying how like redirects are kind of falling out of style, right? But one thing you can do to change that, right, is to really make your redirect compact and short. And what I like about this robot is that their redirect is not really out of the, the size of the robot at all. And it's mostly made out of rigid material, such as like aluminum C channel. So it really won't see the amount of like, uh, I guess the amount of like malleability that others, other redirects that are made out of plastics would see, right? Yes. So I think I'll and give this robot. Looks very clean. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna give it an A tier just because it actually doesn't have a doinker, and I think a doinker is extremely important this season. Yeah, I would say A tier is right because it's a very well-rounded robot with the hang and wall stake mech and overall a good intake. It looks like. Yeah, guys. If I'm not mistaken, it was in this before the rule change where the things are triangles, so it's possible they would have added it by now. But I'm yes. pretty sure they posted this before the. This was September 9th. And we did Is see before really, soon, really soon after Maul, this team had a 46 point auto, which just shows like how consistent they were Super building their robot yep. to make it consistent. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Please No Instant F. F. Oh, yep, sounds good to me. I would say this is A tier because okay. it looks like it works really well. Oh, yeah, I'm not even going to watch the videos. It's, the second video, like just oh, that drive, is so beautiful. It is very beautiful. You know, that is a that's a that's a very, in, a very. <laughs> I don't even know what what the word would describe this drive. Interesting. Uh, yeah, very interesting drive. Amazing. Yep. We could see this drive being the meta later. At world, yes. We'll just have to see. These At world, are just better. Being a payload like that would be very very useful, just so you can get that extra height. And you know, like stay out of those rings and make sure you don't get 
Liam, wait, so this is one of your sister teams. Can you tell me like what this what this is? The Yeah, I I that's not on their robot anymore. Oh, but um, what do you think? What was that? I think I think it's to push the rings. So uh, a huge problem with hooks a lot of time is that last ring gets stuck on um, the hooks when they circle back around, which is uh, detrimental to if you're running a redirect. Yeah. So that's what I think that's for. Uh, you can probably make that completely out of poly. Definitely can make that completely out of poly, and just curve it around and that's like a much slighter way of doing it but i might be wrong and that might be the start to their redirect and they just flipped it on the other side mm -hmm. well, one of the i think i one think thing, overall pretty nice yeah what do you, what do you think that? um i can't really tell from the video but it looks like they only have two hooks yes I um think, i think so I think so they have one now. the speed is pretty good but i think they could add a few more hooks to get it a lot faster I know a lot of teams have been reducing the amount of hooks they have just so that they can get the transition from the free roller to the hooks a lot more consistent because it never gets whacked. Um, yeah. Also, I noticed about this robot is there's no wall stick options and there's no hang. So what are you going to do for the last 15 seconds? Uh, negative corner, unless you can. Yeah, that's a really good point. So I think, I think, I'm, I think I'll have to give this a B tier because you know it just doesn't have as many options. But however, you know. Game tech is very nice. I like how they're running the the like the triangular piece at the bottom, right? Instead of doing a a usual ramp, they have a very very unique ramp, right? So I see actually quite a couple teams doing this, and I think I, I like this more than the other ones. Oh, hello, Baba Tunde. I am back. My right. Wi-Fi disconnected. That's okay. We have. Did y'all give it F tier? Oh, we give it. We no, give it B tier. No. No, this F tier, I think. Why is this F tier? Well, it's 1082M. Okay, yeah, we're going to change that, actually. Give it Z tier. So, ignore the lack of wheels. We don't have them yet. This is 21520B. And the first thing I notice here is they don't have wheels. That is, is something <laughs> I think they should probably add. Because it just, like, I mean, gear drive is, like, all right. Um, I know a lot of teams are running it this season, but um, I would I just I just think wheels are a safer bet. You know, I saw this thing actually in China earlier with a like a mechanism where it's a intake lift, right? A hook intake lift. So we've all seen Aces robot at the start of the season, right, with a very very strong like hood lift, right? But this I feel like this is even better because it doesn't you don't need a clamp at the front, right? And you can just go ahead and score and i feel like i feel like this is a, a very interesting design that needs to be needs to be done more i think it needs to be something that i more. would say is i this looks like a prototype just because there's no space for their back clamp yes the goal will just be very far away yep i'll give this one a b tier because you know cool cool pr prototype I'd give it an S tier if there were wheels, but I'll give it a B tier. Yeah, but missing wheels. Yeah. Little wheel. Hey. Piss the nice hey. Hey. Piss the nice hey. Yep, there's. Oh, okay. That's a very. That wheel is not. Not, not perpendicular. Yeah, not, not straight. He does oh, say oh, that oh. we should ignore it because the joints were loose. But does, does he say that here? Uh, oh, no, he, he does say that. No, no he doesn't. No. Say that. It out. Yeah, yeah, it, he doesn't say that. So we're gonna and need to really lower the rating here because of that that bench track. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, you could probably to fix this, just make it a single action, or. Um, or another way he could do this is by tightening the joints. No, no, that won't work. Ow. Um, yeah, maybe there's no way to fix it. Yeah, this is a. There's we... no way. Yeah. You know, Our wait, did he say why he didn't just do like a like a hard stop and then <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think this is like way too much work. Like like low key like last year and even spin up we didn't even have retracting piston we tra retracting wheels. Yeah, yeah, but 
They do it so they don't touch the ground during hang. Yeah, but well, like yeah, for our I mean, high like... hang, we were basically like on the edge of like H tier and G tier, and we still didn't do it because we were like, the judges just ain't gonna notice. And our 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 uh, passive A tier, we never we ran it at a uh, worlds with our high hang, and it never the checking was never touched the ground. Yeah, I think this is not really uh, not really super necessary. I'm gonna give this a C tier. Because you do have to add that solenoid, the piston, and it's just. I, in my opinion, unnecessary. You know, you know what he can do though. Well, actually, hmm. I was, I was, I, I was thinking about something else. I, I, that might be wrong. I was thinking about connecting it to, to something else, so then he can, he can really. Oh, I know what he can do. Wait, guys, he can do this why don't he just? Hearts. Why don't he just do this? No, 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 I'm saying like, he can just connect the string to the hang, and then connect the hang to the thing. Isn't that not what Barkbots did? I don't. Know. For the early season bot. Oh wait no, I'm pretty sure this is actually what he did here. I see string here. Oh. Okay, well yeah, yeah. Well then, then you know what? I'm, I'm gonna change it because I'm gonna change it to a B tier because then it's he's not actually using an extra piston or anything. So that's good. Yep. You know, I was concerned because then you'd you would be using an extra piston, more solenoids, whatever, right? But you know what? Not too bad. He's he's using a the piston already from the hang, so B tier. Yippee. Scott, red robot. Red really robot. nice paint job. I really like the color theme. Yeah, I like how he even colored the flux wheels, dyed the flux wheels. I don't. I do, and you're it, objectively it is, wrong. It, it's just less grippy. No. So the transition would probably be smoother if they were they weren't painted. No, but since the robot looks better, the opponents will be more afraid, and then you'll so win. Since they have more aura, they will win. They just win. Yeah. One thing that would also make it look better is better cable management because currently it is red cables. Red, red cables. cables. That would yeah. help a lot. Yeah, and Dark. red motor caps. And only red rings no matter what team you're on. Yep. Yeah, if you can oh. dye your brain, that would also be helpful. I'm giving this an A tier. Very nice robot. Yeah. One thing I do I do notice, right, is that you know they are running a high strength shaft, right, for their, their top section. I feel like what can be done here, right? Because I feel like they're, you know, drill out the center of that sprocket, right? Drill into a circle because I don't think it's drilled into a circle right now because I see the, the, the shaft is spinning, right? So then you will have two points of contact where, where it's low friction, right? I know there's only one, right? And I don't even know how low friction that is because usually these, t these chains are pretty, pretty tight. So what I think they should do here drill the middle of that sprocket out, make it a circle, so then it free spins on this high strength shaft. And then the high strength shaft free spins on the, on the bearing, on the pillow bearings, what do you guys think? Yes. Or don't even use a high strength shaft. You can probably just get away with some standoffs because mm -hmm. it'll be a lot lighter. Yes, yes. Standoff through here and then drill a hole through that. Same thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Or even just a screw joint. Yeah, just do a screw joint for that instead. Yes. Very cool robot. Okay, we have 10 done. Yes. 10 ton, right. I think they really pioneered the the redirect mechanism, right? They're one of the early season ro robots here. I'm gonna, however, I think I'm gonna give this an A tier because, just because, you know, redirect is kind of falling out of style and, and there's a lot of stuff that could be improved with such an early rendition of this really iconic design. I feel like they don't have stuff such as doinkers and stuff, but of course, right, this is before Maul, so have to take that into consideration i'd have to give this a s tier because it, the redirect flips up which prevents it from being bent so it is a good redirect overall and i like the hook because it can score better yes yeah. so give it an a tier because because it flips up because when you have it flipping up you're using extra air as opposed to a four bar or six bar max that we've seen where you don't have to do that and it doesn't get in the way when you're driving around. Yeah, I agree with that. All right. And you know, we're approaching the end of the video now, 20 minutes. So yeah, thank you thank you guys for joining me. You're so welcome. Thank you, Baba Tune. No problem. No problem. I'm so grateful for this opportunity. It's going straight to my college application. All right, let's go.